Hello, how are you beautiful people? All right, so today I said all right, so motherfucker. Christ, I keep saying it. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so the purpose of today's video is to show you how to create redundant links over layer two using a uh, bridge and a microtech. So you're gonna learn some cool little uh, tricks here on the microtechs. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but this is for those of you who have no other option because you haven't figured out OSPF yet. Um, <clears throat> of course, I have a video on OSPF. It is on the Patreon. I There is some Patreon-exclusive content. The OSPF videos will be Patreon-exclusive for the first year, and then in one year, they will be released to the public. Uh, I, I'm trying to make incentives for you guys so that uh, it makes sense to be on the Patreon anyway. But um, this one's going to be public. Yay! Okay, so anyway, back to this. All right, so what I'm going to show you guys today uh, how to do is how to create redundant links using your spanning tree and your bridges on your Microtex. Now, because this did not work very well on uh, GNS3, I was forced to actually use a set of Microtex to do this properly because GNS3 can be a little bit wonky, I found out. So let's do this, okay? So first of all, uh, let us open up the far router. So we've got router one and router two. Oh, I can't open up router one yet. But, um, eh, you know what, maybe I can, watch this. Okay, so let's let's open up router two. I have Roman enabled on them so I can get into them, right? Here's router two. So router two is gonna be the far router. Router one is going to be the near router. Cool, eh? I should probably clear the cache. Let me show you this, by the way. Tools, clear cache. Sometimes you have to do that on here. All right, here we go. Are you going to work? Nope. Here we go. Whatever. If anybody knows how to stop that from happening, please let me know. Because I honestly have not bothered to figure out why it does that, nor do I really care to. Okay, so there's router number two. And now let's open up router number one right here. Okay. And we are going to create a redundant point-to-point -point link over layer two using your bridge. Now, there's a few key things you have to know here. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, let's create our bridges, okay? So I'm gonna create the bridge on router two. So we'll call this point to print bridge. Okay, and we're gonna change the priority on here. This is actually the priority, so we want this to be a heavier one. So let's make this uh, priority two. For you because it's a second bridge, right? In this bridge um, sequence, right? And of course, you can, you get the idea, right? You can have this as router one, router two, and router three, and so on and so forth. If you wanted to do some kind of a hellish hierarchy across your switches, which is terrifying, please don't do that. Um, okay, so now let's uh, add a port. So we're gonna add link one, and uh, we're gonna we want link one to be priority, right? So we're gonna make it seventy instead of eighty. Okay. And then we're going to add uh, Ethernet 2, Link 2, right? And we're just going to leave this at the default priority of 80 so that it's got a higher weight, right? And now we need to add an output port. This is the port, port to port. <laughs> uh, this is the port that a laptop will connect to. All right. There we go. But I'm not going to connect a laptop anyway. Okay, so now we've got this prepped. Okay, so you see what I did, did here. Okay, we've got our priority here. The lighter priority port is going to be the one that the bridge will favor. Okay, and the bridge itself here is also a uh, higher number, meaning lower priority than the first one. So now let's go to the first bridge. So we're going to call this one point to bridge. Point to point. Blah, 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 blah. I got to stop doing drugs. Uh, point to point bridge. Okay, and this is going to be 1,000. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. So I'm going to add my WAN port now on this little bad boy. Now, by the way, once again, let's look at the differences here for a second. 2,000, 1,000. 2,000, 1,000. 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000. We're not going to get into MSDP today, okay? Let's add a port. All right, so first we want to add the in port, which is the network here at the home. And now we're going to add a link to, okay, and we're going to leave this one at 80. And then we're going to add link one, like so. 
so this will be link one, oops, uh, link one, but we're gonna make this 170 for the priority. So now it's gonna favor this port here. We'll do the priority sequence so we can actually watch these, okay? So it's going to favor this as the root port, see? This is alternate port, it's been elected, the alternate port, because it is a secondary, right? So now if we, uh, I wanna get some uh, network traffic on here so you guys can actually see what's going on here. So watch this, this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool, like so cool. Okay, so this one should have an IP. Let's, uh, DHCP client, yep, there we go. <laughs> what you didn't know is that I already did all this before I made the video to make sure that it would work. That's right. You have to test all this shit before you actually make a video out of it. And then when I'm done making the video, I have to have a few friends who are higher up on the uh, consulting slash engineering trading hierarchy than me to verify that I'm not an idiot. That's what I always do. So you guys don't realize how much actually goes into these videos, do you? A lot. That's why it's hard for me to get them out so fast. And then I feel guilty that I'm not getting them out fast enough. Yay. Happy holidays, folks. Here's Tom with the weather. All right, so um, these are the ones we need to watch. There's our bridge. Um, this is 87, which means the other one's 86. So let's do a ping test. So we're gonna go uh, 192.168. Wait a sec, why am I doing it this way? Watch this, here's a cool trick. IP neighbors. And we're gonna look for the only 2011 on my network and we're going to ping it. Like so. Uh, Excuse me. <sighs> Not to be crude. All right, so now you can see that this is pinging. I'm gonna open the log here. You notice that there's no blue in here for um, uh, network loop, right? Because network loops suck. And if you don't do this the way I just showed you with the proper bridge priorities and the proper link priorities, then you will get a loop, okay? Uh, that being said, watch this. I'm now gonna unplug the L1 cable. Here we go. L1 is unplugged. Oops, sorry. I was connected with Roman. Clearly to that interface. Oh yeah, dude, you know what? Duh, I should redo this because when I connected to Roman, uh, I need to connect to the bridge now <laughs> rather than the actual interface. But before I was connected to the interface, so sorry, that was my bad. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Okay, now let's just verify that I'm connected to the bridge Mac, okay? It would appear that I am. Let's do that all over again. Okay, so here's our interface. Let's reconnect Ethernet 1. Boopity boop. Ethernet 1 is plugged back in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna look like a fool tonight. All right, whatever. <clears throat> I was hoping that Roman would remain established, but, uh, eh, sue me. Whatever. I'm not trying to be perfect anyway. I just want these things to work well. All right, so let's see here. So we've got this guy up. We're connected to B7. Maybe I should connect to the IP address. That might be a wiser thing to do. Yeah, let's do that. Here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boo, do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, so now let's do a quick test here. Because, yeah, I mean, like the IP is going to remain the constant and the uh, Mac is going to change, right? So watch this. Okay, let's try this again. Unplug in port one. Okay, interface one is now disconnected, as you can see there, as it says slave but not running. Okay, so let's plug that back in. Okay, we'll let it reestablish itself. There we go. So now, as you can see here, it's reestablished itself. So now it's running. Let's disconnect uh, Ethernet 2. So Ethernet 2 is now down, and you can see that it's still running. And let's check the logs here for loops. No loops. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 I am the victor. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we got no loops. We can see that, uh, oh yeah, shit, I need the bridge uh, bridge ports in here so that uh, you guys can see the cool shit that's happening in the background. 
There we go. See, root port. Yay! Okay, so let's plug that back in. This is kind of fun to play with, by the way. Okay, the secondary is now plugged back in, so alternate ports should become active, and you can see little ping packety thingies going across it. Um, all right, so let's try pinging. Let's ping, let's ping Cloudflare. I want to ping Cloudflare, because I like Cloudflare. Hey, Cloudflare, sponsor a video, please. I need lights desperately. Okay, here we go. Um, so what am I going to do now? All right, so we've got our root port. I'm going to disconnect the root port. Okay, so the root port is now disconnected, and you can see how in the bridge it says disabled port, and now this one has become the root port. <laughs> Still no loopage here. Neat, though. Okay, so we got a minor timeout there. No big deal. All right, so let's plug this guy back in. All right, so we're plugging port one back in. There we go. I should probably do this. Where, where is it? There we go. Okay, so now everything's going over port one. Let's disconnect port two. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Why? Because port 2 is the heavier path cost. Yes. See, so if we look here, we see how port 2 is 80 like the rest, and 70 is 10 points under, making it the uh, lighter weight path. Okay, so the lower the number, the higher the priority. Remember that, folks. Let's do this again. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so there we go. Port 2 is now plugged back in, and you'll see it listed as alternate port once it's uh negotiated its speed and it's online. Let's unplug port one now. Cool. And we didn't even drop a pack at that time. You, that could have just been Cloudflare because I know that Cloudflare does that. But anyway, look, didn't even drop a packet and it just switched right over just like that. So this is just another way that you can do a point-to-point -point link across uh, sites. And also, if you guys are running for Seam, by the way, oh, there was a point to this. <laughs> That's right. If you are running Prasim, this is one of the ways that you can connect your Prasim so it has redundancy. You can take your Prasim box and put it in line with your switch to your router and create a little bridge group just like I've done here, right? Right? And then you can connect all of your OSPF uh, interface stuff, whatever the hell you want to do, um, to your bridge and have it travel through. Now the secondary port in your bridge would actually go directly to the switch rather than through Prasim. Then if Prasim goes tits up, it'll immediately fail over to the backup link. Okay? Cool. And that works with any BMU, by the way. So like if you threw anything in line with that, it would work like that. You can also use this for uh, redundant fiber links to switches or whatever. And I think that one of the tutorials that I looked at um, who, who, I looked at one of the tutorials earlier. Oh, shit. Who was it? Give me a second here. I might still have it up. Um, uh, no, I don't have it up. But anyway, one of the tutorials that I actually found earlier uh, demonstrated that you can use a fiber link and a wireless link. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? So this way, if your fiber link gets dug up by one of those vicious fiber-eating tractors... Um, your radio link will take over the uh, the path. It'll take the uh, weight of the traffic. There we go. I just plugged port one back in. And I'll switch back over. Oh, it timed out when I switched back to port one. Dom, dom, dom. Either way. So this is just a simple layer two uh, dual link redundancy uh, tutorial. This shows you how to do it. Okay. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to our Patreons for keeping us alive. I want to give a shout-out to you guys. There's a um, page coming up at the end here that lists all of our awesome Patreons. Uh, and don't forget, there is Patreon-exclusive content out there for you guys who uh, are Patreons. I try to reward you guys for being awesome. And if you feel like throwing us a couple of bucks to help keep us fed and help pay for the videos and make the videos better and better and better, which is what I'm trying to do is make them fucking awesome, um, yeah, feel free to donate on the Patreon. I actually have plans to take some training courses on uh, some higher-level stuff involving... Um, uh, more advanced BGP, uh, Trill, Isis, and uh, actually I'm just starting into a little uh, self-course on Zabbix. So we're going to have some videos coming up on Zabbix soon, and I think you guys wanted to see some stuff on uh, Proxmox. So yeah, like and subscribe, and if you have any requests for uh, videos, leave them in the comments below, or you can join the Patreon to let us know and you know, help keep us fed. And once again, thank you to my awesome editor, Yuya, who without him, this channel would really suck. All right, thanks everybody. I love you all. Good night.